I'm frequently asked, when is the best time of day to take your vitamins? In some cases, hopefully that's self-evident. You take nighttime, uh, our product for sleep at night. Um, you take that at night before you go to sleep. Or if you work graveyard, you might take it before you go to sleep during the day. But, um, but, not, but all kidding aside, uh, you can take vitamins at the best time that works for you. And, and what I mean by that, I typically take my vitamins um, with breakfast and with lunch. Uh, that for me turns out to be the best time. Some I'll take later in the day, uh, but for me, first of all, many nutrients are best absorbed uh, in the presence of food. In fact, most nutrients are best absorbed in the presence of food. If you think about how our digestive system works, our digestive system is actually stimulated to absorb vitamins and minerals when in the presence of food. Why? because how do they usually come? They usually come with food. So we want to sort of prime our digestive system for the absorption of these nutrients. So they're best taken with food. Many companies tell you to take that because their vitamin tablets are so difficult to digest and difficult to absorb and so hard on the stomach that you want to take it with an abundant amount of food in the stomach. Not the case of mine. You could take a handful of my capsules on an empty stomach and they will not upset your stomach at all. They're designed to be non-acidic, pH neutral. They're going to be delivering the nutrients you want without any stomach or gastric problems at all. So what you want to do is make sure that with certain kinds of nutrients like vitamin D or coenzyme Q10, for instance, they are best absorbed in the presence of fat. It's impossible to pretty much eat a meal without getting some little amount of fat, which that's all that's required. Or I often make sure I take, I take my CoQ10 when I take my omega-3 or when I take my gamma vitamin E because those capsules obviously contain fat and that's the fat that will enhance the absorption of the CoQ10. CoQ10 in its pure form is a powder. There's no reason to put CoQ10 into an oil-based capsule. All you need to do is take it with food and you're going to get optimum absorption of that CoQ10. And of course, you want to get your full B-complex with it. That's why we make our CoQ10 only available with B-complex. So best time of day again, depending on you, when you eat your largest meals or when your meals might be, be you divide them up throughout the day. Things like Cholesticare or our Choco Nuvo that contains the same cholesterol-lowering ingredient. You obviously take that with meals because it blocks cholesterol absorption. It also blocks bile reabsorption, which in turn lowers cholesterol as well. So again, most of the things are pretty common sense. Uh, I say take our fiber mucil, best taken with meals, because it also enhances the activity of Cholesticare or Choco Nuva and lowering cholesterol. On its own, it helps to lower cholesterol. And taking it with food, fiber is what comes with food normally if you eat a healthy diet. Unfortunately, most of us as Americans don't eat foods and diets terribly rich in fiber. So it enhances the otherwise absent fiber from our diet. So it's always good to get one to three capsules of fiber mucil with a meal. So as you go down the list, multivitamins always best to be taken with your largest meal of the day. It's pretty easy to figure it out. I'm thinking in my head of the different, whether it's Essential One or Omega-3s or CoQ10, uh, nighttime take at night. Um, certain products, if you're taking val valerian to relax you during the day, you could take that on, a, on an empty stomach. They're all pretty much self-evident. Are there multivitamins or nutrients or ingredients that conflict with one another if you take them together? Not at all. So it doesn't matter. I often take a handful of capsules at breakfast and a small handful of capsules at lunch, maybe a few capsules at dinner. So I divide them up as it works for me. Just listen to your body. You also have to pay attention to your doctor. Some might say that some of these nutrients might conflict with a medication you're taking. Generally not the case, but I tend to encourage everyone to separate their medications from their supplements. Notwithstanding the fact that my supplements are all nutrients and food-based, we don't make any um, supplements masquerading as drugs or with drug claims, but I still like to separate them by a little bit. So that's the, and in terms of Cholesticare Choco Nuvo, of course, take it within an hour of starting your meal or taking it within an hour or so of finishing your meal because it will still be in your stomach. Um, and that's, I think, the, a basic thumbnail sketch of when to take your vitamins, but there's no hard and fast rule. As I say, the most important thing is to listen to your body. And if there was a specific caution or instruction or recommendation that you had to take it away from something, you would be reading it on the label under the suggested use. I would make sure, because I also write those labels, I would make sure it was written on the label.